In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, whose eternal word adorns the face of the heavens, yet accepted from the Virgin Mary the frailty of our flesh, grant, we pray, that he who appeared among us as the splendor of truth may go forth in the fullness of power for the redemption of the world, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, we receive from him whatever we ask, because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. And his commandment is this, we should believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he commanded us. Those who keep his commandments remain in him and he in them. And the way we know that he remains in us is from the spirit whom he gave us. Beloved, do not trust every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they belong to God. Because many false prophets have gone out into the world this is how you can know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges Jesus Christ come in the flesh belongs to God. And every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus does not belong to God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist who, as you heard, is to come, but in fact is already in the world. You belong to God, children, and you have conquered them. For the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. They belong to the world accordingly. Their teaching belongs to the world, and the world listens to them. We belong to God, and anyone who knows God listens to us, while anyone who does not belong to God refuses to hear us. This is how we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of deceit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will give you all the nations for an inheritance. I will give you all the nations for an inheritance. The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. I will give you all the nations for an inheritance. And now, O kings, give heed, take warning, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice before him with trembling rejoice. I will give you all the nations for an inheritance. Please stand. Proclaim 
proclaim the gospel of the kingdom and cure every disease among the people. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. He left Nazareth and went to live in Capernaum by the sea, in the region of Zebulun and Naphtali, that what had been said through Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled. Land of Zebulun and land of Naphtali, the way to the sea beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people who sit in darkness have seen a great light. On those dwelling in a land overshadowed by death, light has arisen. From that time on, Jesus began to preach and say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He went around all of Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness among the people. His fame spread to all of Syria, and they brought to him all who were sick, with various diseases and racked with pain. Those who were possessed, lunatics and paralytics, and he cured them. And great crowds from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem and Judea, and from beyond the Jordan followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Today we celebrate the optional memorial of the most holy name of Jesus. And this devotion is particularly uh, promoted, especially by the Franciscans, the Dominicans, and of course the Jesuits. And we know of the Franciscan Saint Bernardine of Siena. No? He would usually use, no? he would carry this uh, monogram of the name of Jesus. That the first three letters of the Greek no? name of Jesus, no? uh, Iota, Heta, and uh, Sigma, no? yung IHS na nakikita natin. No? And these are the first three letters no? of the name of Jesus in Greek. No? Later on, uh, they have translated it also to mean uh, Jesus Sominum Salvator, no? Jesus, Savior of Humanity, Savior of the world. And what is in the name? What is in a name? Lahat tayo, nabigyan tayo ng pangalan. At yung ating mga pangalan, pinag-isipang mabuti ng ating mga magulang. Pinag-awayan, pinag Pero mas maganda kung ito'y pinagnilayan at dinasalan. Dinasalan muna, no? bago tayo bigyan ng pangalan. Sapagkat itong pangalan na ito ay may kapangyarihan. Kapag ka tinatawag tayo sa ating pangalan, tayo'y napapalingon. O di kaya naman, tayo pa nga ay lumalapit. Diba pag tinawag ka ng iyong nanay, Juan, Pedro, Maria, nasan ka? Punta ka dito. Lumalapit tayo, pumupunta tayo, tumutugon tayo doon sa pangalan na ibinigay sa atin. Kung kaya nga, masasabi rin natin, parang may kapangyarihan yung pangalan natin sa atin. Ganon din, ang pangalan, it could also mean authority. On whose authority are you doing this? I remember in the parish, sa UST, kapag ka meron akong inutos sa sakristan, sasabihin ko, sabihin mo nga dun sa gwardya, magpatawag ng karpintero. Ang tagal, no, bago dumating yung karpintero. Not until, sasabihin pa niya, pinapasabi po ni Father, tawag po ng karpintero. Diba? Kailangan pang gumamit ng authority. No? Sa atin sa bahay, no? kapag sinabihin mo yung kapatid mo, ay bumaba ka na, kumain ka na. Kung minsan hindi susunod. Pero pag sinabi mo, pinapasabi ni nanay, bumaba ka na daw kung hindi lagot ka. <laughs> diba? Talagang susunod. No? Dahil may authority yung pangalan na ginamit natin. 
Ganon din ang ating Panginoon. No? Napaka makapangyarihan nung kanyang pangalan. Pero yung kanyang pangalan, hindi nang gagaling yung kapangyarihan sa takot. Hindi nang gagaling yung kapangyarihan sa authority na parang controlling others. But rather, the name of Jesus no, itself no, comes from a mission na kanyang ginagampanan. No? Kaya nga, Jesus, yung kanyang pangalan, no? God delivers, God rescues, God saves. Yun yung mission ng ating Panginoon. Kaya nga, yung pangalan pa lang niya, no, nagsasabi na nung kung sino siya, no? yung person niya, no? that He is our Savior. No? Si Jesus ang ating tagapagligtas. O kaya nga hanggang ngayon, no, ginagamit natin yung pangalan ni Jesus, no? O minsan sa ating mga dasal, masasabihin natin in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, evil spirit get out. In the name of Jesus, no, gumaling ka. No, in the name of Jesus, no, sana mawala itong mga nararamdaman nating mga sakit, no? Problema, no? Panginoon, tulungan mo kami. But unlike when we use our names to control others, when we call the name of Jesus, it signifies our surrender. Yung ating pag-anyaya, pag-imbita sa Kanya na pumasok sa ating buhay and take control of our life. It's self-empty. Katulad ng ating Panginoon mismo. We read from Philippians how He is in the form of God, but He did not deem equality with God. Rather, He emptied Himself, took the form of a slave, being born in the likeness of man. Kaya yung kapangyarihan ng pangalan ni Kristo hindi nang gagaling sa pagkuha ng authority, no? pagkamkam ng kung ano-anong kayamanan. Bagkos, ang kanyang kapangyarihan sa pangalan ni Jesus ay nanggagaling sa self-emptying, no? pagbibigay ng sarili pagbibigay ng kanyang buhay para sa atin. At ganun din, ang kapangyarihan sa pangalan ng Panginoong Yesus ay nanggagaling sa kanyang relasyon sa Diyos. Christ was obedient, even accepting death. Death on a cross. Because of this, God highly exalted Him and bestowed on Him the name above every other name. Doon sa pagsunod, doon sa obedience. Ngayong panahon natin, kailangan, kailangan, kailangan natin to obedience. Yung iba ang titigas ng ulo. Inuuna yung sarili. Nakakalimutan natin, meron tayong responsibilidad sa ibang tao. Mano ba naman yung sumunod tayo? Ito'y para sa kapakanan ng lahat. Parang may mawawala sa atin. Yun kaagad ang iniisip natin, may mawawala sa atin. Pero ang ating Panginoon, hindi. Lahat ibinigay kahit ang kanyang buhay para sa atin. Kaya nga itong pangalan ng ating Panginoon, sinasabi sa ating first reading, Believe, you shall believe in the name of Jesus. Love one another just as I have commanded you. Hindi natatapos yung ating pagpaparangal sa kabanal-banalang pangalan ni Jesus sa pamamagitan lamang ng paglalagay ng pangalan niya sa bahay natin, pagsusuot ng mga medal na mayroong IHS, hindi. Because it should extend to a relationship with the person of Jesus. No, hindi lang siya basta pangalan, hindi lang siya basta idea. He is a person. Kaya nga, tatanungin natin ng ating sarili, ano bang relasyon natin kay Jesus? Ano bang relasyon natin sa ating Panginoon? And it would reflect on how we treat the name of Jesus. If we treat the name of Jesus with respect, then we have a high relationship with Christ. No? Nire-respeto natin ang ating Panginoon. Kung binabastos natin ang pangalan ng Panginoon, ganun din. It reflects our relationship with Christ. We are called Christians. That is our name, Christians. Pero kung hindi nakikita sa buhay natin, yung values na tinuturo ng Christianismo, yung values na tinuturo ni Kristo, then, no, being a Christian is worthless. Walang kwenta yung pangalan nating Kristiyano. Kaya nga, sa araw na ito, as we celebrate and honor the holy name of Jesus, let us ask ourselves, what is our relationship with Christ? 
Do we respect the name of Jesus or do we bring disgrace to this name? Do we fight for the name of Jesus, especially for those who are against the values of Christianity? Do we still ask for forgiveness, reparation, offer sacrifices in the name of Jesus? If we are truly Christians, then we should honor and believe in the name of Jesus, loving one another as He has commanded us. Please stand. Let us now approach the Father who fulfilled His promise in sending us His Son to bring God's kingdom here on earth. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Father, the bishops, and the clergy may proclaim in words and deeds the presence of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government leaders may shed light to people living in darkness by their faithful service to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may welcome God's presence in our midst by loving and forgiving one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the message of God's love may continue to permeate in the lives of the poor and the sick, despite the sufferings they are going through. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may find their eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We now offer a few moments of silence and pray for our personal intentions. God, our Father, the coming of your Son gave us light and hope. Make us instruments in letting that light shine on others through our words and deeds. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today, you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when He appeared in our mortal nature, You made us new by the glory of His immortal nature. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of Your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim, we proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Dominic de Guzman, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, oh God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. Amen.
prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From, Pro from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together, hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord, that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord, that human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever amen please then let us pray grant we pray almighty god that by the power of these holy mysteries our life may be constantly sustained through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you very much for joining us in this Mass, especially to our devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We continue praying for our families, for our nation, and for the world, especially as we face this pandemic, that the Lord will uh, heal us no, from this virus, likewise protect our loved ones. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick, and likewise prayer for the blessing of rosaries, and other religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.